Pastor Rob here. Today I'm going to continue on my series of Bible verses that are near and dear to my heart and how they apply to not only my life, but your lives as well. And today's verse is Ephesians chapter 4, verses 26 and 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. And what this scripture means is it's okay to get angry. You're going to get angry. It's an unavoidable situation. Even Jesus got angry. It said many a times that he looked around and he was grieved or angry at the hardness of their hearts. Even came a point of time where he said to himself, Oh, you unbelieving and perverse generation, how long must I bear with you? How long must I be with you? But he still was moved with compassion and he helped them. He didn't let his anger get the better of him. It says it's okay to be angry, but not to sin. In other words, it's not acceptable to get even because you're angry. It's not acceptable to flip somebody the bird because they got angry. It's not acceptable to try to cut someone off or to say a mean or harsh or nasty word because you got angry. Because it says here in this verse that if we do that, we give the devil a foothold into our lives. We give him a foothold, a place to bring accusation against us and say, Aha, some Christian you are. Whether it's directly to us or through another person, who do you think you are? See, you're no better than anybody else. It also gives him a foothold to take you away, your focus away from Christ and get it on to the person that you're irritated with. Don't give place to the devil because you got angry and you stewed in your anger. It's okay to be angry, but it's not okay to go and make it into sin and start killing people in your heart. Because Jesus said, whoever is angry with their brother without cause has murdered them in their heart. And I believe it's even more so than that. If, G if they could have received it, Jesus, I believe, would have went even further with it and said, if you're angry with anyone and you stew on it and you stew on it and you stew on it, you begin to murder them in your heart. Now, that's that part's just my opinion. But we know that through that verse where Jesus says, whoever's angry with their brother, now some translations say without cause, some just say angry with their brother, we know that it says that we murdered them in their heart which is just the same as murdering them physically in God's eyes. Don't let them get that kind of power over you. Jesus didn't. Yes, he got annoyed. He got angry. But he didn't sin in that anger. He overcame it. Because he didn't get place to the devil to bring accusation. If you resist the devil, he must flee from you. But the beginning part of that verse is submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. When you choose to submit that anger to God and say, Father God, I am angry. I am downright irate. P.O.'d. But I choose the more excellent way. Father, you said your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Let your strength may be be made perfect in my weakness now and help me do what I cannot do. Now, of course, you're probably not going to be able to pray that out loud. In that moment, but you could pray in your head, in your heart. You don't have to pray out loud for there to be power in your prayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, every spoken prayer begins with a thought, and every thought begins from the wellspring of the heart. So you can pray in your mind without physically saying it, Father, help me. Help me do what I can't do. And He will empower you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That's another one of my favorite verses. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know what it's like to be in good times and bad times, to be plenty and be in want. And the reason this verse means so much to me is I dealt with anger issues my entire life. Being abused and everything like that, anger I thought was a great defense, but it had become my master. Now through counseling, I have learned to overcome that. But that is one of the verses when I'm ready to lose control. Oftentimes the Holy Spirit will bring me to memory, bring to my memory, to be angry but not to sin, nor let the sun go down in my anger or my wrath, nor give place to the devil. 
So when I go to bed, I try to lay down everything that irritated me that day and said, Lord, forgive those who have irritated me or wronged me or any such thing today. I choose to forgive and let it go. I don't want to go to bed in anger. Because what you think about when you're sleeping is what you're dreaming about. What you dream about begins what you, becomes what you obsess about. And we don't want to obsess in anger. It only destroys a person. Gives the devil a foothold to ruin our lives and to ruin our testimony. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. And please subscribe and hit that wonderful notification bell. All my contact information is below. Remember, be angry, but do not sin. Nor let the sun go down your anger, nor give place to the devil. It's okay to be angry, but overcome it. Have a great day, and may God richly bless you all.